Welcome to the Fine QC headphone demo. I'm Peter Larsen from Loudsoft. The picture shows the test setup, and we have the headphone test jig with the artificial ears in the center and two speakers for producing noise for the noise cancelling test. This is the test screen, and we're going to test in a sequence as you can see here. First, we test left and right SPL and then rub and buzz and noise cancelling and also active noise cancelling. So let's start. We measure both channels at the same time and get these two curves left and right within the tolerances. The bottom curve there is the difference between left and right, which we have a separate tolerance for. So this is okay. And we continue with the high level rum bus test. Both rum bus curves are okay below the limit. In the report window, we have also measured sensitivity for both sides. There's a little difference, 0.3 dB. We also measure the polarity. The next step is the noise cancelling test, and we press continue. And we see this is the passive noise cancelling working only at high frequencies. For the active noise cancelling, we need to turn the noise cancelling on, which is done now. And and this works now much better at low frequencies. And the whole headphone has been tested OK. Now let us take a look at how this test was set up. So we press any stepped test and can see the four steps in this sequence. Let's edit the first one. We will measure one channel, uh, the left channel, and use that as reference. This is what I've done now. The brown response is left channel and the yellow is right channel. The left channel I have here as a straight line so we can see the deviation easily. Now we have put in the red limits plus and minus 3 dB up to 5k and open up uh, after that. This we can easily change by dragging the curve. So let us edit the second step in the test, that's the rub and bus test. And we go to the rub and bus setup. The best way is to measure a good uh, headphone. And now I measured the left channel as the yellow line here. The limit, maximum limit is automatically set by this difference, which is 6 dB. Now I can measure the right channel in the same way. And now we have the combination of the two, or the maximum rather. And finally we can look at the setup of the noise cancelling test. Select it here, and then we need to start defining the noise level from the noise speakers we have close to the headphone capsules. So that's what I'll do now. This, so this is the, the reference level. And now we'll measure with the headphone in place. I put it on here. And we measure now reduced. Okay, and you can see that this is just the passive uh, noise cancelling working at high frequencies. So that is the setup.